What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about rep methods and more. I want you guys to make sure you hit the like button on this video. The goal is 30,000 likes. Please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you share this video with everybody. So on November 29th, I actually got moved up to a starter. It was very unannounced don't know how i still do not have a name as well i'm still glitch in that manner but basically i became a starter the assistant coach told me maybe one or two games prior that i had to work for the starting spot and surprisingly they threw me in the starting lineup without letting me know so i ended up recording this video and i decided to do my rep method while i was starting in this game so since this is my first game as a starter and my first game doing this on hall of fame 12 minute quarters i hope you guys are ready and enjoy so just let you guys know once i noticed i became a starter is because i knew that i wasn't in my little warm-up uniform i had my jersey on and i was like oh hold on what's going on so i was talking to chase money raunchy 3mg trey ken just about everybody in the cell squad and i was telling them like hey i've been doing a red method for like the last four or five games now and they were like all right well are you going to do it now and i said of course so i made sure all my settings was right i was on hall of fame and i just want to show you guys what i've come up with as far as the rep method so this is geared to all different types of builds if you're a guard building you have the ability to call plays early the play is called pass screen away if you guys notice i just got the defender locked onto his own teammate and my teammate as well i'm gonna go ahead and run that back for you it's not over now what i usually like to do is i like to bring the ball up slow sometimes i call isolation sometimes i don't so i cause pass screen away see that he got jostled onto lou williams and it gave me the ability to go down the middle of the paint and do a floater now since i am not a finishing build since i am a shooting and ball handling build i want to work on my driving and finishing badges so i decided i would do the my rep method with the floater now even after misses sometimes i decide not to run out on the break because i want to do my method sometimes you can run on fast breaks but for the most part if you have a method and you need to actually get those my rep points from something instead of taking up a a duly contested layup or moving shot because you're on a fast break and people are chasing you i like to slow things down and do my rep method the only time that i like to get crazy is when i'm on my takeover now you guys will see here I get the takeover and I immediately slow things down. I say, okay, let's go ahead and get things set up. Pass and screen away. Kick it over. Tether R2. Go down to the paint and get the floater popping. Now, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get greens. Floaters count as long as you make them. So it's a miss and make type of counter. And you guys will see at the end of this match on how many points I acquired. Now, like I told you, Whenever I got my takeover, that's the only time that I like to go crazy with the fast breaks. And that's because I, my attributes are boosted a little bit and things like that. So right here, I'm cutting down in the paint. I'm going to go ahead and help out. He misses, and I'm out on a break. So immediately, I pull right on up because I got my takeover. You feel me? So make sure when you get to takeover, you can get a little crazy with it. But make sure when you don't have your takeover, make sure you get back to what you know. So I'm calling quick isolation, waiting for the play to set up. Now, one thing that Chase Money was telling me is that he's on Brooklyn and his team doesn't isolate the way they isolate with me. Now, remember, you can also shoot moving threes, moving middies, standing middies. You can dunk it. You can do whatever with this method. You can do any play that you want. This is geared to any build. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call pass and screen away. Now, you see the way my teammates are set up. Chase Money says when he calls isolation, everybody runs to the paint. So, I'm guessing it may be an L.A. Clippers thing or it may be a couple different teams. You have to see how your team isolates when you call isolation up top. All right. Also, I just got fouled on that, converted to and one play. That will happen most of the time. But remember, there are some premier point guards out there like John Wall and um, other defensive players that are going to be guarding you that may block your shot. 
all right now also you can do this play when the clock is running down you get like nine to ten seconds to complete the passing screen away because if you're already up top the the way that the computer isolates for you and the way that they stand still is really really cool now i just got a still didn't rush it but i have a switch now i want to show you guys what it looks like when a center or power forward tries to keep up with you on this rep method i killed him he's gone He's no longer in the play, guys. That is major. I want to show you guys a replay of what I just did. I killed him. You know what I mean? Like, this this method is amazing. I've gotten two finishing badges in two games. All right? I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know, man. And remember, I am on Hall of Fame. So, let's talk about defense for a moment. I know that a lot of people that have rep methods really never talk about defense. But, if you're running defense for your team, you want to run a 3-2. I got this straight from Chase Money. The 3-2 is perfect for this rep method or any rep method. Because, honestly, you don't have to worry about leave assignments or defensive breakdowns. I'm keeping it 100% real with you guys, but the only negative thing to run in the 3-2 is that you will give up a corner three 100% of the time. Now, they may make it, they may green it, but sometimes they do miss it and they allow you to get a fast break or it just allows you to do your method and then you go up 10, go up 15, go up 20, go up 30 on Hall of Fame. All right. Now, also, defensive rotations come crazy just like Aldridge right there, but I'll show you after the half. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Che, your first career start in an NBA game. You looked comfortable out there. Was this as good a performance as you could have hoped for? Absolutely, DA, man. It definitely taken some adjustment, but I've, you know, had the support of my teammates, the coaching staff, and, and, and the fans every step of the way. They believe it that, you know, I'm a starter, and I hope my play has done enough to keep, you know, that belief going strong. Well, they've got a lot of information to work with, and uh, you've done great so far. Yeah. Thanks for your time, guys. All right, guys. Now, I just want to show you a couple quick plays. I didn't want to, you know, bombard you with more and more of the same. But look at this breakdown in defense. Now, this did result in a foul, but this was supposed to be a block and going the other way. This is the new system from 2K that they were talking about where you have to read the entire defense to figure out where the help is coming from. In this situation, I was supposed to throw an alley-oop. All right. Now, I beat my guy. They sent over DeRozan. I still beat DeRozan. And they sent over another guy. That's four people negating me. So, I should have threw the oop right there or passed it out to the three. But, of course, I'm a method ran right now, you know. So, I was pretty, pretty hyped. Now, another huge thing that you want to do is in the fourth quarter, when you get subbed out, you want to save and quit. 2K to me is not fully finished. It needs a huge patch. And I can tell you guys 100%, if I would have finished that game without saving and quitting, I might have caught an error code. So one big thing that you guys want to do when you're doing your rep methods, make sure you save and quit before the fourth quarter is over, okay? Make sure you save and quit. Now, we are about to check out the my points earned. Now, if you want to do moving threes or moving middies on Hall of Fame, I advise you to have gold range extender, gold quick draw, gold difficult shots, gold flexible release. You need to have a bunch of gold badges in order to pull off moving threes and moving middies to get as much rep as I am getting from doing floaters only. Now, you guys see, I got 45K in rep. All right, I had 91 points. Just imagine what these sharps are going to do out here with this rep method because you can still strafe the actual method, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I believe it will be 50K in every half an hour to 45 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you like this video and let people know about it. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy some cutscenes from the starting uh, announcements and conferences and stuff. Peace, guys. Che, talk to me about your first start. How did it feel out there? It looked like you were pretty comfortable. Oh, man, it's, it's so dope. You know, it's always been a dream of mine to be a starter in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it feels good, man. I just hope I can build on this, you know, and string together a bunch of good games. Because honestly, 
For me, it's the sky's the limit. And I feel like I don't have a ceiling right now. It's no pinnacle. Jay, do any moments from tonight stand out to you? Is something you'll remember years from now? Man, that's a good question. I guess just, you know, that feeling of having your name announced with the rest of the starters, feeling the vibe that the fans are putting out and taking in all that energy. <laughs> it, it got me hyped. I felt like I could run through a brick wall after that. It was crazy. No rookie in NBA history has scored as many points in a single game as you did tonight, Jay. That's an incredible accomplishment. I appreciate that, Patty. What does an accomplishment like that mean to you, given where you came from at the start of the season? You know me, Patty. I don't play for individual accomplishments. But anytime you break a record like that, you know, and surpassing a guy like Wilt, it's big. <laughs> you know, but I think a lot of that comes from just me landing in the right situation. I'm in great hands here, and everyone's helped my game develop to new heights. So it's a team effort, not just me. That no one be, he'll be high. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe like four. Somewhere else. Straight, right? Sure. Here, here he comes. Hey, Che. Hey, what's up? What's up? I want to bring Josh over here. He's got something to talk to you about the Top Takes Daily interview. Okay. Uh, you remember Josh yeah. from Beats? Yeah, Josh, what's up? Great to see you again, Jake. Great game tonight. I appreciate that, Josh. So Josh has a couple things he wants to go over with you that you could sprinkle into the interview. Okay. Well, obviously, only mention this stuff if it comes up organically. We want you to feel comfortable That's there. right. There's no benefit from forced plugs. Of course, of course. So let's keep the pressure low. Any mention with Beats is a plus. We'd be happy with a simple plug. But if you're feeling up to it, you can throw in some stuff about our tech, too. Okay, like what? Uh, right off the top, the noise cancellation feature. We call it Pure Adaptive Noise Cancelling, Pure ANC for short. But if you just said... Uh, noise cancellation, that'd be great. You don't have to uh, live neck deep in the weeds on this one. Okay, pure ANC, I got that. Nice, and I'll have a cheat sheet up there before the interview. All right, Levi. And we've also got something else called Fast Fuel, where you get a three-hour charge in around 10 minutes, but the main plug is noise cancellation. That's why we really love you to hit out there. Noise cancellation, I got it. Awesome, great, thanks, Josh. So, um, if anything comes up, questions, whatever, just tell Levi and he'll let me know. Absolutely. Cool. All right, let's All right. do it. We know it'll be a rock-solid partner, Che. All right, brother. Thanks, Snap. All right. Sounds good. Get it, Beats? Sounds good? No, bro. That wasn't good. Well, it is a special day here today at Top Takes Daily as we are joined live in studio with one of the NBA's brightest new stars, Che. Welcome to the show, Che. Hey, hey how's it going? Thanks for having me, Dan. Of course. Now, you've had to overcome a lot on your path up to the league. We all know about the doubt you faced coming in as a four-year college player. So with that, my first question for you is, how does it feel to silence the haters? Haters? I can't even hear them, Diane. Mm -hmm. So are you one of those guys who doesn't do social media? We're seeing a lot of that trending recently. No, it's my, uh, it's my beats. They have noise canceling technology. Matter of fact, I can't even hear what you're saying, Diane. What'd you say? Oh, <laughs> now that is a first. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't hear you, Diane. What'd you say? Do you think we can continue with the interview? Oh yeah, of course, I got you. Beats. <laughs> so now that you've established that you belong in the league, what's next for you? What are your goals? You know, I really don't want to put a limit on it. I think if I continue to work hard, anything's possible. So yeah, maybe that's a goal of mine, just keep working hard. Is MVP within reach? <laughs> I will say this. If you don't set a, you know, a high standard for yourself, what's the point? And I'd rather fail at getting to the top than succeed at being mediocre, you know? Absolutely. So before we wrap things up, one last question for you. We all seem to know a lot about Che the athlete, but what's something we don't know about Che the person? I'm a music freak, Don. Got any favorite artists? Yes, I do. Kevin Gates, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. You know, they all sound good playing through my Beats headphones. I love these things. They pay you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, they do. But it's not about that. You know, I've been a fan of Beats long before I was one of their athletes. It's a culture thing. Well, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that is all the time we have today in studio with Che. Che, thank you so much for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. This is Diane Stone, and you have been watching Top Takes Daily. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.